Zenfone series is Asus's flagship for each year. For 2017, there's the Zenfone 3. But there's also the Zenfone 3 Deluxe, the Zenfone 3 Laser, the Zenfone 3 Ultra, and this, the Zenfone 3 Max. As the name suggests, the Max is the series which has the biggest batteries, 4100 mAh to be precise. This phone is very thin considering the size of the battery it has. In terms of build, the phone is made out of metal but it's very slippery. I wouldn't recommend this if you are a careless person, though it's good to see an entire metal body at such a price tag. On the front is a 5.5 inch 1080p display and capacitive keys on the bottom. The display is good, it's bright enough but not the sharpest that we have seen. On the back is the fingerprint scanner which, when it works, works fine. Above the scanner is the camera along with the flash and a laser for autofocus. The camera app is simple but the graphics seem childish. Though it's great to see a manual mode here. This phone runs on Asus's Zen UI 3.0 built on top of Android Marshmallow. I have used a lot of phones and it's very rare that I had to change the launcher to make this phone usable. The UI is ugly and the color scheme is all over the place. And there is so much of bloatware over here. As I said earlier, the battery can be improved by having a weaker processor or a bigger battery. Not only does this phone have a giant battery but this also has a very weak or efficient processor, the Snapdragon 430 to be precise. This is a low range processor. It works well in simpler tasks, the memory management is great, but it's not meant for heavy usage or gaming. The battery is above average in size and is paired with a weak processor, but we have seen a lot better. We have seen phones with smaller batteries outperform this and we have seen phones with a similarly sized battery be a lot more powerful. So where does that leave us with Asus Zenfone 3? Well this is a low range device through and through and in its price tag it is going to compete with the Moto G5 and the Redmi Note 4 which again are two phones that we like a lot. So that's the decision you have to make if you are willing to live with Asus's Zen UI and slightly lower performance just for battery life then the Zenfone 3 Max could be a good choice. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed to Yodotech.